interesting industry and that's the handset industry. We've already seen as to how it's uh, grown by leaps and bounds and the COVID opportunity clearly is making it uh, give that push even further. Also, there is uh, a fair amount of hiring which has been buoyed now that the PLI scheme has been put on place. So let's uh, welcome on board then. We've got with us Pankaj Mohindru, the chairman at ICEA, that's the India Cellular and Electronics Association. Pankaj, hi, good morning. Uh, good to have morning. you on the show. The global and local players, uh, Pankaj, clearly are set to expand their factories and capacities in India under the PLI scheme now. How exactly are you sussing out the scalability and what it would really mean for uh, local hiring? Uh, you know, we are absolutely delighted that uh, we've bugged the trend uh, of uh, shrinkage of uh, employment. And uh, let me give you a little heads up. We have grown 1,100% in uh, domestic manufacturing over the last uh, five years, from 18,900 to 2,15,000. Now, the PLI is a catalyst both for global value chains and for domestic players. And uh, there are uh, confirmed uh, investment uh, agreements which have been made with five global players and five domestic players I'm only talking about CBUs at the moment. I'm not talking about components. That is something uh, the virtuous cycle is setting in now, and that will also get very robust. So each of these, the five signatories, which are, uh, you know, Rising Star, Pegatron, Vistron, uh, Honhai, and Samsung, these are the global players. Each of them uh, is expanding capacity and to uh, take care of the uh, PLI uh, benefit for largely for exports. And this is a really sweet spot because a nation progresses when you become powerful in exports, which means that you take a portion out of the uh, global uh, GDP and bring that to your country with value addition here. So this is what uh, is going on. The Indian players are, uh, who were, uh, you know, uh, uh, very challenged uh, till uh, last year and till this year also, are getting together their strengths again. Uh, a lot more needs to be done there, but it is looking very point. So we gave out a number of 50,000 fresh hiring, uh, which is uh, very conservative. And uh, I'm sure we will uh, do more than that. And these are, these are, you know, where the jobs are needed most, these are jobs uh, at the bottom of the pyramid plus. These are manufacturing jobs. These are jobs which, you know, people come from rural areas and uh, uh, take employment. And a lot of them are uh, young women who are, uh, you know, better placed for electronic manufacturing, especially in South India. Most of the hiring will be, uh, you know, young women uh, from rural areas. So uh, th this is really... Uh, the best thing which can happen for a nation. And this is only a beginning. I'm, I'm just uh, wanting to tell you that. As of last month itself, Pankaj, the government approved application for 10 mobile phone companies, out of which five were foreign firms. Has hiring already begun to take place? Yes, absolutely. You know, uh, so uh, one of these companies is, uh, has uh, the whole setup uh, you know, to be done yet, uh, they have uh, to really, you know, get the location, uh, start the factory. But the others are, uh, you know, doing this. Uh, the operational companies, which were uh, not, uh, you know, in an expanding mode at the moment yet, uh, they have, uh, they first had to get back to the uh, normal employment uh, which were, which had got really, uh, you know, upset because of COVID, because a lot of labor had gone That We have come back to almost normal in that, that uh, the labor force has come back. We are almost at 90, 95% now. So uh, manufacturing is at level. So the, these are extremely challenging times. And, uh, you know, a lot of credit to the industry and to the factory leaders and to the CEOs that they are, they've been able to do it in this. Where the expansion is taking place, especially these companies, uh, which have already, the factories have already been set up. Uh, we could have done a lot more 
uh, of hiring if the flow of technicians, uh, machinery, capital goods, etc., would have been smoother, which has got you know uh, really disrupted because of COVID. Uh, because COVID has impacted the entire world. So, uh, but still, I think the leaders in the industry are doing a great job and uh, they've been able to normalize it and brisk hiring has started. Okay, so what does the demand scenario look like post-festive season and particularly... Um, you know, how it stacks up vis-a-vis -vis the major metros and rural areas, you know, what you're seeing in terms of trends, uh, particularly for smartphones, handsets, and the like. Uh, quite good, frankly. We, um, our first estimates in July uh, were not very rosy. We were expecting a drop in demand of uh, 10 to 15% compared to last year. Uh, I don't think that will happen now. By the end of March, we will almost reach the last year level, which is which is really good. Uh, the our exports would have taken off earlier, but for COVID and the delay in uh, PLI announcement, because uh, the of the great disruption which was there because of PLI. But I give a lot of credit to the government also that especially the ministry, mighty that they were able to pull together everything and announce the PLI scheme uh, in the middle of uh, COVID. Uh, and not only that, this has become, uh, you know, the beacon for other sectors and the other <laughs> sectors have come in and announced PLI scheme also. So uh, demand is looking good. Demand is looking very good. And I think uh, the next year will be an absolutely bumper year for us. I think we, we have a good chance of uh, you know, coming close to uh, 2,75,000 cro uh, crore kind of a domestic number. So uh, no complaints about demand, frankly, at this moment. Great. Thanks so much for joining us, Pankaj, and talking us through that. Uh, good you. speaking with you this morning. We're going to take a very quick break. Back with more on the other side.